good Erev Shabbos and a wonderful happy Hanukkah. When we think about Hanukkah, we realize that something very unique and different about this Yom Tov. It is the only Yom Tov that we have that lasts for eight days. No other Yom Tov. Shemini Atzeres is a new Yom Tov, says the Gemara. This is the only Yom Tov we have that has eight days and not seven and not less. And the meaning of that, let's think for a second about what that means. So fascinatingly, the Greeks, and I'm gonna screen share here quickly, the Greeks had something to tell us about the number eight. Their symbol, the symbol, the accepted symbol of infinity is the number eight, but it isn't standing upright. It's turned on its side. It has been laid low. Because as the Maharal tells us, the number eight represents that which is beyond the physical, the normal, natural laws of nature, of cause and effect. The idea that one is connected to something eternal, deeper, beyond, infinite. And therefore, it is so ironic that they take that number which to us symbolizes going beyond, having something being connected to something deeper and eternal and they smash it down they turn it on its face because what we have is and if you look on the chart here we have the number eight shmina but this is also if you rearrange those words you have mishnah this was the beginning of the time when the torah shabal peh which lives on inside of us began to flower and to flourish shimon hatzadik mishore knesses hagadola this is when torah shabal peh takes off and Torah Shabbat Alper, the oral law, is the reason that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has the everlasting bris with us. And the other, you keep rearranging the letters, Neshama, the bit inside of us, which is eternal, which cannot biodegrade and cannot decay or become corrupted. It lasts forever. And if we understand that, we use Hashemen, we use the light to remain pure and connect to something that is absolutely beyond, something that is spectacular. What Hanukkah signifies for us is the ability to go beyond, not to be limited by the things that we are usually limited by, to connect to infinity and to realize that we actually have it inside of us. We have the Neshama, we have the Torah, and together we light up ourselves and indeed the world. Have a wonderful Shabbos and an amazing Hanukkah Sameach.